Okay, turns. I will be doing a. I tried following a. Jay Sloth. Miss Jay Sloth. Makeup tutorial. See ya. Boom. We're doing a cut crease. Cranberry and nude half cut crease. I'm sorry. With the Jaclyn Hill and Morphe palette. Good thing I got that. So we're just going to try to see. Oh, welcome back to my channel. I recently was able to purchase the Jaclyn Hill Morphe palette. Um, and let me just say I love the palette and I was able to create this bomb look for y'all I know there's gonna be more in the future um, But just starting off. I'm gonna go ahead and have my eyebrows already done I'm taking my NARS creamy radiant concealer and I'm just going to prime my eyelids with that and you want to take this and buffer it all into your eyelid um, before I was doing trying to do looks like this and it just was not working I'm new this because yeah. uh, I wasn't priming my eyelid in, uh, properly in C40 Concealer. I mean, my thing is. Could that be? Okay. Mm -hmm. Alright. Done. And even then, at the end, it still kind of creased anyway, so whatever. <laughs> um, so after that, I just went ahead and set it with some translucent powder. I'm using Laura Mercier. I don't have Laura Mercier. 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 Laura Mercier. So, I'm using this Sasha Buttercup. All right, we set, honey, we set. And then the first color I'm gonna go in is the first color I'm gonna go in with. God, is Roxanne, and I'm just gonna build this color up into my crease. Um, now I did not speed these clips up. So them are really okay. kind of drawn out Perfect. Uh, because I really wanted you guys to see how many times I like went back and forth with the blending. Perfect. Just bloom and room. Now I'm taking, um, I think, now I'm taking, um, I think that's Jax. And I'm going to take a color. smaller tapered blending brush. Um, but it's not. A little bit more dense and I'm going to concentrate colder. that more into my crease, not so much my eyelid. Um, and I'm just going to go back and forth no, trying to intensify that color as much it's as possible. Hunks. Oh. She messing me up. I feel like I don't even have a crease. Come on now. Okay. I'm looking down. Mm, okay. Concentrate that more into my crease, okay. not so much my eyelid. Um, and I'm just gonna um. go back and forth, trying to intensify that color as much as possible. Jacks. Okay. So now she taking jacks. That was hunts. Okay, okay. Now this is a really, really small, almost a pencil brush, like a pencil brush. And I'm taking that and I am only this is exclusively for the crease and for the outer third of my eyelid. Okay. This color. Okay. I'm taking the same tamper brush because this is the only one I have. Specifically in the outer. I don't know. I hope we're doing this right, y'all. And I'm just gonna build that up until I can actually see the color. Uh -huh. And then I switch brushes to just um, that first blending brush that I used, and I'm just blending everything all together. I feel like all these colors are the same, huh? And this is just the same um, color. I think this is Jacks, and I'm just using that same like pencil brush. And then I switch back over to a blending brush. Hold on, she blending? Uh, uh, uh. So she doing all that. All right, hat. so now Wait. using my NARS Creamy Radiant Conceal. So she doing. Oh, oh, I see it now. Y'all see that? Kind of darker. Ooh. I'm now going to cut. I don't want to say cut my crease. That sounds so stupid. I'm going to 
carve out the shape of my eyelid, okay? Because I don't like the way it sounds. <laughs> um, so going like slow, taking my time, trying to be as precise as possible. Um, this works better when you have more than a little bit on your brush. Like, um, I feel like when I don't have that much on my brush, like that much product, the product drags and it doesn't give me those like it doesn't give me like crisp lines. So, so okay. I kind of use a lot of this product when I. Out my Let me see the finish. And I'm only going like I go a little bit past halfway because this is a half cut. So let's see how it turns out. See what little wrinkles y'all see? Wrinkles. Like an old lady. And if you got soggy eyelids like me, you might want to hold your eyelid, like pull on it a little bit. <laughs> Because I wasn't able to get like those precise lines towards like the middle of my eyelid. Because like I said, my eyelid is, was acting soggy. What's soggy, girl? <laughs> she over here got perfect little. Oh, I did hold it. Okay. Hold up. She said a little. Okay, I thought this was a little more than half. She and now I'm over. just setting that with this three quarters. Powder also. Okay, she went three quarters of an eyelid. Girl. Hold on. Because she making like different marks and stuff. Really, nigga? Ooh, ooh. Ooh, ooh. And then I'm on top of that um, concealer, I'm going to go in with this like beige color right there. And I'm going to apply that this all one. over my lid. I want this look to be like super neutral, but like super cute too. I want it to be dramatic, but like melodramatic, <laughs> if that makes sense. Like I didn't want too much drama. I'm using my little and Anastasia this is just like thing. a short shader brush that I'm using. All these brushes are from Morphe, by the way. Okay. Mine was Morphe, and then this is Anastasia. 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 <laughs> Baby, is she going to take that? <sighs> okay, taking that blending brush, I'm going to go ahead and blend those reds into that beige color. Um, why does it look orange? Maybe because my brush dirty? And now, I know I'm pointing to the beige color, but I'm using that really, really light skin color next to it, and I'm just putting that on the inner corner of my eyelid. Now I'm taking my Revlon Jayla. Color Stay Liquid. What is this? Eyeliner? <laughs> I'm just going to create a basic wing eyeliner. Wait! She said the inner, the inner. Anyways, anyways. Now she was an eyeliner. All right, I got this Sephora fine line, stylographic eyeliner. And then I'm taking that NARS Creamy Radiant Concealer, and I'm just going to clean up the bottom of that wing just to make it look super sharp. Okay. Sorry. I'm all up in the camera. Shoot. Okay. So. Make it look sharp, she said. So. Zan boo. She blending it. Can I use my finger to say? Alright, so now it's time for my face. I'm gonna go ahead and blend that concealer that's on the top of my eyebrows. And I already did my foundation because my camera cut off and I didn't know. So I just used a Maybelline Ooh. Fit Me. Now I'm using this. Oh. Let me just take my finger. I think 
good enough all right she said she had the foundation he did the fit me i'm using the uh maybelline superstay to the power superstay foundation uh, I think this is truffle. This is in truffle. Y'all see my light diminishing? All right. Same concealer that I've used 17 times already in this video, and I'm just highlighting underneath my eyes, my forehead. Okay, well, I'm doing a different concealer. The Instant Age Rewind Concealer, Maybelline. Bridge of my nose and my chin. And then I'm going to take my damp beauty blender and diffuse all the products and blend it into my face. Okay. Okay, and this is my NYX. Ooh, it's a NYX stick. I don't know. I don't remember the name. Yo, I'm digging this look, yeah. Um, but I use it to contour with, and I love I... it because it like it's bronzy and it warms up my face. Mm -hmm. Um, so I'm just contouring with this stick and blending that out with my beauty blender. Uh, fancy matchstick, uh, espresso. Oh, look. Ooh. use my sponge for my contour and setting underneath my eyes with my Laura Mercier translucent powder so it doesn't crease on she's taking a Laura Mercier I'm gonna take my Sasha Buttercup right. gonna contour, contour my nose and she contouring again contour powder on my cheeks so mm. i don't have a contour of and now i'm using max mm -hmm. give me sun um mineral last skin finished and i'm just powder. kind of pressing that into so my skin i don't know how this works Anastasia. because as you can see like right underneath Palette. my eye it kind of like know. you can really really see it that. like it didn't blend Maybe out these two browns you know what i'm saying it's kind of the bridge of my nose i guess we're highlighting the hell out of my cupid's bow today because i clearly obviously put too much <laughs> um underneath my eyebrows oh, pretty. oh that is my brow bone jayla okay <laughs> I'm terminology use... sis terminology cinnamon from the uh, my inner tear ducts and i am also highlighting my cheekbone I'm using cinnamon. And with it, nose Gucci, cute is Gucci. And the tear duct gonna be Gucci in a second. Okay, boo. Oh, boo, boo, boo. And, and now I'm taking this super. NYX lingerie. Um, I think this is like a liquid lipstick or something. And I'm just lining, like I'm using this, this as a lip liner um, because it's suede. a really pretty chocolatey okay, brown. So. Okay. okay, so. I'm not putting no lashes on y'all, just so y'all know. Lashes and then I'm taking this like NYX in the color nude stick. Pink um, chocolate. I'm so sorry, y'all. I'm using a lot of these products for the first time. Everything will okay. be down in the description bar, okay? And the lashes that I use are also down mm -hmm. in the description bar. Oh, it's pretty. And then after this, I think I just take my um, Max lip glass and I just top it off with that because of course the lip, fancy clear lip gloss is always so lip balm. and I think that I'm done with this look that's more for good mm. 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 yes sis yes see you in the next video